what's going on everybody? Lee Dickey here, comedian, actor, producer, reviewer, and welcome to the Lee Dickey TV YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button, ring that bell, and turn on notifications so you never miss another upload. Please do follow me on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Lee T. Dickey and visit my official website, LeeTDickey.com. Com. If you would, please subscribe to both my podcasts, the Beats and Speaks podcast and Yo Nostalgia. Please do comment, like, subscribe, and share on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, or wherever you get your podcasts as well. Please and thank you. Leave us a five-star rating and review. That really helps us out a lot. But thanks for tuning in to the Lee Dickey TV YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Now let's get on to today's video. NBC renews Law & Order Organized Crime. The Christopher Maloney-led Law & Order spinoff gets a second season. I tell you all about it right now. All right, so Law & Order Organized Crime, the Christopher Maloney-led spinoff gets a second season. Now, according to this article from TVLine.com, the second season is likely to feature three eight-episode story arcs. Consist so the total for that second season would be 24 episodes. So the first season, which they're currently airing, I think was originally picked up straight to series for 13. I don't know if they're gonna to get to that number, they may, but uh, if the second season is gonna consist of eight, uh, three eight episode arcs to bring the total for season two to 24 episodes, then you'll get, let's see, 24 and 10 is 34, add three more for 13 you get 37 episodes in total for the two seasons and it looks like it's being picked up for a full season which why not law and order consistently does well like the original did criminal intent did svu continues to do well and you know they're gonna continuously have crossovers between uh Hargitay's benson and the other characters like ice t's finn tutuola or what have you anybody from svu crossover to organized crime and vice versa. So Organized Crime, I'm sure, would cross over with SVU as well. And this comes on the heels of NBC ordering the Law & Order for the Defense spinoff, which I did a video on, which I will link in the description and in the cards. So there is also, I mean, you know, I haven't necessarily um, seen all of Organized Crime this year just because it went away for a few weeks and life got busy. But from what I have seen, it's, I, I love it. You know, I love the fact that Maloney uh, came back to the Elliot Stabler role. I love the dynamic that he's trying to rebuild with not only Hargitay's uh, Benson and um, Finn's Tutuola, or Finn Tutuola Ice-T, but I, I love the fact that like they're exploring this sort of, I don't romantic entanglement sort of angle with the Benson and Stabler characters. I mean, one of the last things I saw was uh, Stabler telling Benson just because, you know, she and the kids are worried about him, like Stabler's kids, because his wife was, his on-screen wife, Kathy Stabler, was killed. And that's what set this whole organized crime thing into motion, this whole SVU organized crime sort of introduction and then the spinoff that's what set this whole thing into set this whole thing into motion and it seems that you know they're going to go down, go down the route of stabler and benson maybe hooking up like i don't know or getting romantically involved somehow or just you know are they going to keep us on the the fringe and keep us on the outs with that again like i know even when they were both on svu back in the early days of that show you could feel the chemistry like radiating off the screen and you still feel it now like it's perfect and it's a great thing that's uh that maloney came back to the stable role just because everybody was clamoring for it because i don't think and this is my personal opinion i don't think the stabler exit at the end of season 12 of uh special victims unit was good i like i it was a good episode but i just don't think like nobody was ready for that sort of an abrupt exit and I don't even think Maloney was to be fair where I think it was just contract nego negotiations that were just kind of like yeah so you know I 
want this number and then they, they were somewhere like the producers and the network were somewhere else and then they just kind of let him go and then he went off and did his own thing and now he's back and it's just perfect and the fact that law and order organized crime is doing so well that they picked it up for that nbc picked it up for a second season it's amazing like the whole dynamic of that show is awesome like to be fair like dylan mcdermott does evil so well i was when i heard that he was cast i like legitimately hit the roof i was so happy because he he is so good i mean i'm not taking any anything away from uh, mariska hargitay uh christopher maloney or anybody else but dylan mcdermott is so so good and he plays um rich wheatley really really well and it's just like he plays that evil role really really well and i am i'm like i'm tickled pink that this show gets a second round he gets a second season i will link the article from uh, tvline.com down in the description and in the show notes if you want to read it yourself but it is likely that the second season of law and order organized crime will consist of three eight episode arcs but the fact that law and order organized crime is coming back for a second year is amazing sound off in the comments below how excited you are for the second season of law and order organized crime please do comment like share and subscribe i've been lee dickey thanks for watching take care and we'll talk to you later peace Thanks for tuning in to Lee Dickey TV on YouTube. Please remember to subscribe, comment, like, and share as well. Please do subscribe to both my podcasts, the Beats and Speaks podcast and Yo Nostalgia on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, or your favorite podcast app and player of choice. Leave us a five-star rating and review as well. Follow the fun on social media at Lee T. Dickey. That's on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And find out more information about me on my official website, LeeTDickey.com. All the links are in the description and show notes down below. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Lee Dickey, comedian, actor, producer, reviewer, and we will see you next time. Peace!